Chris, you started with open up a little later. Well, I remember telling you that you were working weekends at the fan. And yes, I was peeling off wallpaper in my house in West Hartford. I <laughs> and I was listening to Dog, and my wife goes, who is that, and how did he get that job? And I said, that's Mad Dog know. Russo. And she goes, hey, that voice? And I said, yeah. I said, but that is the, it's different than other voices. But she, uh, 100%. The first guy I ever worked for was uh, Gene Burns, who was a great talk show host who passed away. He worked at the RKO in Boston, OR in New York, and he hired me at, uh, uh, at KIS in Orlando. So did Mike Geyer, who was passed away, too. He was the GM, and Geyer put Bob Trumpy on the air in Cincinnati. After Trumpy retired, he gave him a sports talk show on LW in Cincinnati. So he used sports talk stuff. And they said the same thing. Chris, listen, your voice is a problem, especially in Central Florida. You're a New Yorker. That's going to take some getting used to. But, you know, you've got a goofy delivery. You screw up all the languages and all the words you want. <laughs> just just go on there and do a sports talk show, and we'll see what happens. You know, it's funny. The inaugural, I went down to Orlando in 83 to do two shows on the weekend as sort of, you know, audition shows because they were looking to hire a sports talk 